people. How's your mama doing? I know y'all getting sick and tired of all this George Zimmerman. <laughs> of this George Zimmerman bullshit. I know y'all sitting up there saying, why don't they just prosecute him and get this shit over with? That's what I'm saying. Like everybody heard today, no, the yesterday, about the interview tape by the police that was recorded the next day after the death of Trayvon Martin. After the incident now. Why, like, why did his lawyer tell them to show the tape after, what, four, four months? Not like six months, like five or six months. And he, in the reenactment of what happened, and I'm sitting here listening to it, and I'm, and I'm actually seeing the reenactment of him in the in, a, in the interview room, and I'm, and I'm sitting up as like, okay, now this motherfucker is saying everything, like, oh, this is what happened. Uh, the police said that I don't need to do that. Which the police said, well, you don't need to follow him. And he's moving a lot. Like, he's very anxious and nervous. Like, like only, like, he's nervous about something that he, because he's moving more than he should. But uh, I heard, and so I saw the I saw on news where they actually played have some of the recording of the interview, and there was the, the there was a detective that asked the question. I thought I saw what well, this is the best question I ever heard from a detective, and because everybody heard that the police chief was fired because he didn't do his job and didn't do nothing. But there was a a detective that asked Zimmerman if he was white. Would you still racially profile him? And he said yes. And to me, when that when that damn detective asked him that question, and he said, when he asked him that question, to me, I think that damn detective knew what he was doing. Knew what the fuck he was doing. He asked him, if that boy was white, would you treat him any different? If he would have said no, that's when they would have had his ass. If Zimmerman would have said fucking no, that's when they would have had his ass. Then they showed him where, then they were showing people th where he was reenacting, well, where he went and all this and that. Look, to me, it's still like this. The, pol the recording where the police saying, don't follow him, ain't... <laughs> And the funny thing about this was is how he lied. How he lied. He said, well, he was hiding in the bushes. But he was on the phone with his girlfriend. And his girlfriend was telling him to run. He wasn't hiding no bushes. So how in the hell? Why in the hell would Trayvon do a loop around? To come back to get killed. Why would he do a loop around. A U-turn and come back and get killed. See what I'm saying. The, the, the stories don't match up. See the. From his girlfriend saying. Somebody. <coughs> from from what the girlfriend had said. When he was she was talking to him. To Trayvon. She was telling the police that. He was on the phone with her. And he told her. Somebody's following me. She told him to go home and run. Now he's saying he was following him and he lost him but as he was kept walking Trayvon jumped out the bushes and said what you doing motherfucker or fucker are you said he got punched in like I said like I said I said in several other videos this is what don't make no sense he got a gun on if Trayvon seen that this man's got a gun on him, why would he go fight him? Why would he go fight him? See what I'm saying? Now, there's been cases. Hey, like, there's been cases where people can fake a bruise, can fake something, 
you know how today's society you could take makeup or any like dye or makeup or something like that and make them look like you got your ass whipped now how do you, like I said how do we know that he asked a friend to whip his ass how do we know he took makeup and put it how do we know he did this he said when he was over him, he said somebody came up with a flashlight. And I was like, everything he's saying is, is, is mind-boggling to me. Like, are you fucking serious that I'm supposed to believe in you and your motherfucking wife? Oh, yeah. Yeah, his wife. I was going to do a video on about his wife, but this is funny. Mrs. Zimmerman. Oh, my God. I said in one video... When he got it, when he, when his lawyers was looking for him, like calling him, calling, calling him, are you? If he was gonna pick up the fucking phone, and I, and I did say in the video, I say, why don't they ever? Why, why aren't they investigating that fucking website he posted up? Cause he's getting donations. He's getting donations. He's getting donations. He's getting donations. And I'm asking this question. And they waited so damn long, so fucking long, just to investigate the damn, where the money came from, is, is what it is. They waited too damn long to investigate where that money came from, when I clearly said in one video, why don't they investigate that website where these people was donating money to him and his wife, to Zimmerman and his wife. But his wife lied about him having money, about them having money. And it's awfully funny that he lied, that both of them lied about that money. I don't get it, man. Why is, this, why is they letting this man fool them? To me, them damn police tapes give his ass away them damn the, phone, the girlfriend's phone call gives it away the death of Trayvon Martin gives that shit away like I said before he's in the position of a lose-lose situation you're probably asking saying what is a lose-lose situation it's the same as when you hear a win-win situation except you lose and lose no matter which way you go you're gonna lose if he's guilty and goes to prison, he loses because they're going to kill him in prison. If he wins and finds not guilty, he's going to lose because they're going to kill him out in the street. Now, his, now Zimmerman's wife has been punished, been arrested, and been locked up for some odd days, not even a month or a year or something like that for lying perjury and all that good shit. But this man's life, like, to me, I just don't, they didn't, to me, the police department did not handle this shit right. There's been people, what was it? When OJ got in trouble, they arrested his ass. Now, hold on, bad example. Casey Anthony, here you go. Signed with Amanda Knox. When Amanda Knox got in trouble, what happened? They had her ass locked up in a damn Italy prison all the way up to her court date. When that incident happened, they arrested her ass and kept her in, in, the cell, in the prison cell all the way up to her court date. How come they wasted so many time, they waited last month just to arrest him, then they give him a bond, they let him on, and they find out he got money in, two day, in the second passport. He could have jumped bail and went anywhere in the world because they was careless. They really did not handle this case. They really, they did not take a, get a good hold of this case. They really didn't handle with care or whatever. You let this man walk the streets. This man could have bail jumped anytime he wanted with the money he got from that website. His wife lied to to protect his ass and that money. 
He's trying to sit there and get, he got two friends that are full of shit that went on national, that's been on national TV more than the fucking Martin families. Joe Taffy and Oliver, I forgot his last name. Like, I'm for real, he got two friends that's been on TV more than the fucking Martin family. But people want to take up for him. Why? Why you want to take up for him? I know there's like a bunch of red, a uh, bunch of racists out there. Well, because he's a nigger. I, that's what probably some of the people going to say. Well, wouldn't it be any different if Zimmerman shot a white person? Just like that did. Like if you would have shot a white person, the first thing y'all would have said was, look at that wet back. That wet back should hang. That wet back should hang. Kill that wet back. Y'all be ready to kill him. Nobody never thought about it. As y'all motherfuckers sit out there and say, well, there'll be one less nigga in the world. But y'all y'all need to realize he could have shot a white person. And y'all motherfuckers would have said, well, kill that wet bag, kill that wet bag, kill that Hispanic, kill that Cuban, kill that Mexican. Y'all would have been saying all that shit. Y'all would have been saying that just as well if he killed a white person or he killed a Chinese person or if he killed a Jew or if he killed any other minority. Y'all would be in the same boat as every other black person that's been bitching and complaining about this. So the while y'all sitting around, there's racist bastards in there saying that's one less niggas to worry about. Y'all need to think about it. If you would have shot a white person, what would you do? Y'all be saying the same fucking ordeal. Y'all be saying the same thing. That motherfucker need to die. Let's get our pitchforks and, and our torches and light them up. Y'all be ready to hang them just like everybody else. Y'all ain't really thinking about that. Ain't, no, ain't nobody really thought about that. But like I said, that detective thought about it. Oh, if he was white for, if he was a white person, would you profile him any different from Trayvon? He said yes. He said he would have. So what he was trying to say is, he racially profiled Trayvon. So he gave himself away. He was racially profiling Trayvon. I said if it was the, if it was a white person, would you treat him any different? He gave himself away when he answered that damn question. When he said yes, when that damn. That to me, that come on, people, man. He gay. I'm gonna put the video. I'm gonna put both two videos links in the description, man. So y'all gonna watch it. I don't know if y'all can find that detective, the, the 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 part where the detective asked him that question. If he was white, would he treat doing any different? I don't know where to find that at. I'm. It's gonna be on YouTube somewhere, but I don't know where. I'm not gonna look it. Uh, y'all can look it up and find it, and y'all listen to it. If y'all can find that part of the interview where when that detective asked if he was white something like if he was white would you do it any different He's when he answered yes you could see I'm not bullshitting you but I wonder why they playing this shit for so long why are they sitting up there bullshitting for so long down in Florida man they stretching this shit out for it like for the longest man over a year I'm for real man they they uh it's getting on my nerves this is this is starting to get stupid ridiculous dumb fucked up like why are they waiting why they why they making this like this been like six months six months Six months, man, and and they, and they keep stretching it. I'm like, why would you? Why would you stretch this damn case for six months? What you trying to do? Wait a year just to prosecute this man? Now you getting all right, now all these people down in Florida are getting a little bit too damn antsy. Now do you really want to fuck around with with fuckers with people like that? I don't think so. These people are getting too damn antsy. I don't, I don't get these, man. You got a man that killed a child. You got his wife lying about hitting money. 
and he got a fake ass bruise. Now tell me something I don't know that I'm missing. That's something I'm. That's, I don't get it. That this man can. It seems like this man's gonna walk, man. That's all that is to it, man. Ain't. And that's what it seems like. It seems like he gonna walk. It's, that's what it seemed like because there ain't no way in hell that this man's going to be sitting up there and ain't been prosecuted right. Ain't been, ain't been sentenced to nothing. Ain't. Like you sentenced to whatever, life prison, what, death row, legal injection, electric chair, nothing. There's been cases that's been done in a week, that's been done in a month. See what I'm saying? They just stressing this to buy time. So all that evidence show, like all this evidence they showing that he's guilty, they gonna try to lose. So, oh, we lost half the evidence. Uh, not guilty. That's all it is. They gonna lose half the evidence just to make him look innocent. Why are they wasting so much time to find this man guilty? Oh, he's innocent, Afro. Fuck that shit, man. He killed a child. He killed a fucking child. He was underage, man. If y'all back him up, you know what? I think it's like if for the people that support him, for the people that support Zimmerman, I think they should do this. I think somebody should go up in their house and kill their kids and say, well, oh man, self-defense, motherfucker. Self-defense. That's all it is to it. People that support him, that backs him up saying, oh, he killed him in self-defense. I think y'all should write up. Now, I'm not saying go right up in there and kill him, but it, it, it seems like that, man. If you support him, oh, he did the right thing by killing him because he was getting beat up. Man, nigga, hit back. You know, look, this is what, punch back, man. That's what you do. You don't shoot him. You punch back. If he hitting you all up in your head, man, all up in your face, man, what you do? You hit him back, do throw some punches or something to get your ass out for him. Get his ass out for you. I just don't get it, man. People support. Oh, so that means when he walks, I can walk up to a fucking popo, shoot him in the head, scream self-defense. Oh, let me get arrested. First time I'm gonna scream is y'all let them and go. Y'all let me. Y'all let them and go. If I can shoot a person and say, if I can shoot a police officer and say, self-defense, and they arrest me, I can scream. Zimmerman got away with murder. How come I can't? And it's going to fuck a lot of people up if that happens. It's going to fuck a lot of people up. Let that happen. A lot of black folks will run through the streets killing police officers screaming self-defense because Zimmerman walked away or in, walked away from a murder case. Zimmerman walked away. Let, him find, let Zimmerman be found innocent. All this shit's gonna happen. I'm not shitting you. I'm not shitting you. Let him be found innocent. The fuck is gonna be going crazy down in Florida. That's all it is. All this bullshit. And, it, and these damn police officers ain't doing their job. They'd rather, want, they'd rather him to walk than see him getting see him get prosecuted, see him get punished and the Martin family's gotta go through this shit and I think it's fucked up that he, the Martin family's gotta go through this and they waited three damn days just to tell his parents he was dead while that boy's body was was laying up in the mortuary in the morgue and that was harvesting his organs his family find, his family's out there looking for him they were selling Trayvon's organs while his body was laying up in the morgue for three days. 
and his parents didn't know until three days later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this I'm telling I'm telling like it is. I'm telling like it is. That boy's family did not know he was in the morgue for three days and they were selling his organs while his body was in the morgue and his family found out three days later after his death that he was in the morgue. You can't sit there and tell me they were sitting up there taking up for Zimmerman. You cannot sit up there and say they wasn't taking up for Zimmerman. There is no way in hell that this man can walk. I, I just don't get it, man. That this man is getting away with murder. He's get, That's what it seems like they're doing because they really ain't doing their fucking job. They really ain't getting out there really busting this mm. I just don't get it man ladies and gentlemen this has been Afro Joe tell me what you think tell me what you think like I said if he would have been any other minority y'all would have been saying the same thing as them black folks were saying down in Florida y'all would have been saying the same damn thing as them black folks We'll be saying it down in Florida. Y'all would have been saying, hang him, he's a Mexican. What even if it was a Latino, they would have saying, hang that Mexican, hang that punta. Y'all be in the same fucking boat as the rest of the people down them people down in Florida. So you really cannot sit up here and support this man not thinking if that was your child and his wife lying just to keep him out had a second passport had a second passport fucker could have jumped country anytime could have jumped bail and went to another country anytime he won't and fuckers let him want run on bail I just don't get it man just don't get it And his damn lawyer, his lawyer told the police to release the interviews. The police interviews. I'm finna put the, like I said, I'm put the, uh, the, the videos in the in the description box so y'all can see. When he was reenacting, reenacting and the inter police interview. So, follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. Tell me what you think. In a very responsible comments, holler at me, peace, love, and holla.